What is up guys? Welcome to Fat Belly Fishing. So today I got something special in store for you guys. I have the mystery tackle box. This is the Pro Series and it's the saltwater one. I figure this would be the most interesting one since I do a lot of saltwater fishing. I do a lot of bass fishing as well, but I wanted to start off with the saltwater series. Now this is my first mystery tackle box. I really didn't know what to expect and I got excited I already opened it, but I will say I am much more impressed than I thought I'd be. Before we get started, if any of you want your social media shouted out, whether it's your YouTube page, Instagram, Snapchat, I'm going to pick one or two people down in the comments. Just leave a comment and say what your page is and then like this video to be entered in the next video I post. I will go ahead and put two of you lucky people in there. All right, let's get started here. So I paid about 15 bucks for this because there's hundreds of coupons online if you look around for Mystery Tackle Box. And uh, <clears throat> they're usually 24 bucks, I think, for your uh, first box and monthly subscriptions. So when you open it up, it's gonna look like this. They gave you this giant unnecessary pamphlet. That's the only negative thing I'm gonna say. It's just basically earn the whole shebang, like what Carl's baits are and what Mystery Tackle Box offers, shipping, blah, blah, blah. So when I first opened this up, immediately this gear caught my eye. I mean, it really honestly is amazing what they put in here. I, I, was, I was very impressed. So... Not just the lures, but they give you pretty cool stickers. I'm gonna put this on like a mug or something. So they give you this pamphlet that lists the lures and then the price of the lures so you can see you're getting your money's worth, blah, blah, blah. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So the first one is Dual Realist Fang Baits 140 SR and it's listed at $23.99. So first one is this. It's pretty cool. It's a <clears throat> one you cast out there, reel in real fast. This is perfect for my kind of fishing. And this box is really for my kind of fishing. I do a lot of snook fishing because I'm from Tampa Bay and the Clearwater area. Snook love things like this. If you go and take these things, throw them around jetties, around rocks, around passes, parallel to, and you just reel them in, they flutter and they look like one of the greenbacks, pilchards, bait fish going by. Snook absolutely love that bait. So this is a great bait and it's very expensive from what this says. It's pretty cool, it's kind of weighted. The hooks are a little bit bigger. Um, I could go on there and change the hooks out and maybe put a little bit smaller hooks or whatever hooks I want to. But the first big snook I've ever seen caught when I was younger was on something similar to this on one of the bombers. I didn't think they worked because you're saying what fish is going to eat something this big. Well, snook definitely do. And it was a very big snook when I saw one caught on it. The second thing I added to is the Excite Baits. They're Excite Baits, the Shad Nasty. They're $4.00. And I added a little something to this, just the way I like to rig them. I went, went ahead and put one together. But they're these little white baits, and they have all these grooves for vibrations. And when they're going through, they're fluttering, going side to side for like a shad. So these would be actually good for salt water and fresh water. And I rigged it that way. So I took a Z-Man Chatterbait in the chartreuse color. I put him on as a trailer. Now I'm gonna show you guys a video here in a second of a big snook I caught on this exact bait and it was epic because I've never caught anything on one of these before or let alone one of these. So it is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys see that video now. I got a nice one on. Oh. I 
was a good snook right there. It might be in slot, I do not know. I'll loosen my drag a little. Whew. Can you believe that? That's a slot fish right there. Holy crap. I can't believe it right now. I was expecting to catch like a little fish, a little snook or something, but no. I just got a slot snook. Yeah, so like I said, when I was fishing for those <laughs> snook, I rigged it like that, and all I was doing was cast out and retrieving it, and the snook absolutely annihilate that, and that same rig works perfectly for bass. If you don't know and you have both species in the area, they will hit basically any lure you throw at them, whether it's a snook lure, bass will eat, bass lure, snook will eat. Sorry, that was a little mouthy, but... <laughs> The next thing I have for you guys is the Chase Bait Ultimate Squid. I follow them on Instagram and I didn't even know they follow me back, which is pretty cool. And they're kind of more of an up and coming company, I would say. They're pretty established, but not everybody knows about them. They have some really, really cool lures in there. They have some shrimp that are really pretty and you go ahead and check out their Instagram. But this, uh, this is more of an offshore gimmick to me. A lot of mahi-mahi, you know, I don't get to do that all that much. I don't really have a boat and it's pretty hard to wade out offshore. But these are some pretty cool things. I talked to the people from Chase Bait and they said if you put on like a quarter ounce or a, uh, just some sort of jig head and bounce it off the bottom, that's what works best for them. Other than that, this mystery tackle box is really geared towards me for my inshore likings because the next thing they gave me was basically all redfish stuff now i love to fish for redfish snook are pretty easy to me i can catch snook in my sleep redfish they keep me up at night i don't know why redfish are so hard for me to catch which i catch them all the time but it's just not as easy as snook are so next thing I have is the H&H &H Lure Company Magnum Redfish Rig. And that is basically like, I guess like another version of Love Lures. If you guys have ever seen those, they're like a double lure tied onto the same line. And when you reel it in, you pop it in and they flutter off the bottom together like schooling fish. Trout and Fred Redfish love these things. So I'm excited to give these a shot whenever I fish Upper Tampa Bay or when I'm in Homosassa, I'm sure these would work perfectly or wherever I'm at, all the way up the coast where there's a bunch of redfish at. The second thing they gave me for redfish was just a Gator Lure Weedless Spoon. I already broke this one out of the package because I needed it the other day. And all it is is a regular spoon. They gave you a weedless hook on it. Uh, a guard for the hook which is pretty cool I didn't know that was a thing for spoons but you know spoons have been around forever and they're proven to work and the very last thing they gave me were mustad size 14 and they gave me a two pack of them they're just jig heads spring jig heads which Actually, when I talked to the Chase and Bates, they said that these things would work pretty well with these. So I don't know if that's why they gave it to me. You can put it on the white ones as well. These white Excite little gimmicks would also work very well if you just put a jig head on them. I fished them with either weedless or with a jig head or obviously, like I showed you guys, my favorite ways, like a chatterbait style. So, so... The only other thing they gave me is another mystery t tackle box sticker, which is pretty cool. You can just stick it on a mug or something. 
And then they give you like a scratch and win. This one was free shipping. I guess they give them to you in every single one. I actually have next month's mystery tackle box with me, but I'm gonna wait a little while to share it since I'm kind of a little further behind. But that is it for the mystery tackle box. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead, like, subscribe, share the video, whatever you want. If you have questions about the baits, if you want to see more of them, suggestions, leave them down in the comments. I appreciate all of you and uh, good luck, guys.